A collection of artifacts belonging to the iconic American civil rights leader Rosa Parks will be displayed at the Library of Congress in the nation's capital. Howard Buffett, the son of wealthy investor Warren Buffett, purchased the trove last month. He's now loaning the collection to the library for 10 years. All right. Listen very carefully. Class is in session. The so-called God particle discovered by scientists in 2012 has the potential to destroy the universe. That's what theoretical physicist and cosmo uh, cosmologist Stephen Hawkins suggests in his new book, that the particle known as the Higgs boson to scientists could become unstable and create a vacuum bubble in space that could wipe out the universe. Rah, rah, rah. Well, here to explain what all this means, Dr. Jeff Oishi is an assistant professor of physics at Farmingdale State College, and uh, he's going to walk us through this. Welcome back to Rise America. Thank you. Always Thanks for having so me. excited when you come. And this is really cool for us science geeks out here. First of all, <laughs> give us a very quick primer on what the Higgs boson is. Okay, so the Higgs boson is a particle. It's part of the standard model of particle physics, and it helps explain why other particles have mass. Um, it was the last part of the standard model to be discovered. It's named after one of the people who proposed it in the early 60s, uh, whose name is Higgs. So that's a sort of brief of what it is. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, raise your hand if you understand that. Okay, so, and as I understand it, that this, the, the Higgs boson, as you mm -hmm. said, for, forgive me for saying Higgs, Higgs boson, uh, is sort of the, the affirmation of the, the Higgs field, which is That's this correct. energy energy field, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now Stephen Hawking, famed Stephen Hawking, has said it is this particle that could perhaps, if you will, slip off a cliff and cause the destruction of the universe, sort yeah, of. That's... Explain what he means by okay, that. Okay, so um, you, it's, you have to be careful here to talk. What he's actually talking about is the Higgs potential. And the Higgs potential is this field, as you say, that permeates all of space. Uh, and the Higgs boson is something that is sort of a, per, uh, it jumps into existence if you hit it hard enough, it's sort of a non-technical way of saying it. But the important point is that the, what we've learned about the Higgs boson by measurements made at the Large Hadron Collider in Switzerland have told us that the universe may be what is close to something called metastability. And metastability basically is like you say, basically if you're falling down a cliff, you know, you eventually will hit the bottom of the valley. But metastability is sort of if you hit a little shelf on the way down. Now, of course, you could keep falling because you're not all the way at the bottom. So that, but if you're on the shelf, you could stay there for a while. That's the idea of metastability. And so these measurements suggest that the universe as a whole is in a metastable state. That is, it could keep falling down the valley of the Higgs field uh, to change the properties of the universe, and this would happen with no warning whatsoever. Um, you come bearing good news. <laughs> well, but yeah, right. Uh, is, uh, this, exactly... is this, let me jump forward a little bit because Please. we're going to run out of show. Sure. Is this generally accepted by, by physicists, by scientists? The idea that the, uh, that the universe may be metastable and that the data from the, Higgs of, uh, from the LHC suggests that is not very controversial. Uh, what is controversial is whether or not we actually are in such a state. We're sort of, uh, it's possible, and it seems like the data suggests that. But it's not, we certainly don't know that that's the case for sure. And furthermore, it's not necessarily the case that we would fall out of this metastability. Um, so even if the universe were to be metastable, the time when it was most likely to fall down to the, vol to the bottom of that hill was in the early universe when there was much more energetic collisions going on. The universe was much, much hotter. Uh, so it's not necessarily something that everybody you know, in the physics community is certain is going to happen. In fact, it's, it's certainly not likely to happen anytime soon. Well, here's the question, though. Is there any way to calculate when it might happen and any chance that it can happen anytime soon? Um, there is no way to calculate when it would happen. But what we are more interested in is coming up with more accurate calculations to suggest whether or not a, a more accurate measurements, I should say, as to whether or not the universe is metastable and more accurate calculations as to how much energy it would actually take to knock it from one state to another. Very, very, very interesting. In a practical way, how do you use this information as a physicist in terms of the Higgs boson? Well, so there's a couple of different things. I think one in of the, five most, seconds. the most interesting <laughs> thing we want to know as scientists is what is dark matter, which the standard model does not predict. Okay. Well, we'll talk about dark matter next time. Sounds good. Dr. Jeff Oishi. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that's